So what's life like as a Stanford University student? Well, let's go there and find out. With my new friend, what's your name? I'm Hun. Hun, nice to meet you. I study computer science. I just finished my first year. I'm a rising sophomore. Can you take me through a typical day in the life of a Stanford computer science student? Generally, classes start at Stanford usually around 10.30. First, I'll wake up in my dorm, get ready. Breakfast is really easy to get. You can just go to any dining hall. Uh, we have a lot of them that are themed, like um, Wilbur Dining Hall, it's Asian themed. I usually get breakfast for like 20 minutes, then I have to head off to class, and I will bike to class in like five to 10 minutes. The campus is huge. If you walk, it'll take you like 20 minutes to get to class. It's pretty big, yeah. And so once you get to class, CS classes are usually huge, especially the intro courses. I did CS 106A, or you can also take one x if you've already had experience with computer science. The classes are very high tech. Look at these 4K cameras right above. The professor will usually record the lectures. So sometimes you don't even have to show up to class. That's what I did a lot last year. Um, you can just watch those whenever you want. How long are these classes? Usually they're like 50 minutes, which is really nice. Super short, succinct, but straight to the point. Also, we have a tutoring center. Your TAs will be there throughout the nights to help you with your CS projects. And you usually get assignments once a week. And those are big projects that you have to work through, solve it with your coding skills. After you finish your first class, what time would it be? Like 12, and then it's like time for lunch. And you can, again, go to any dining hall, usually have lunch for like 30 minutes and afterwards. It's any other classes that you have in the afternoon. I usually finish around like 4, 4.30. Then I have rugby practice at Stanford. That's like two hours and then time for dinner and then homework for the rest of the night usually. How many classes do you usually have in a day? I would say two to three. It depends on how you plan your schedule. Most of the classes will be like one right after the other, which people like. Does every freshman live on Stanford campus? Yes, freshmen are required to live on Stanford campus. How much time do you think you spend on studying? I usually will dedicate around two to three hours a night just studying. I like to spread it out so I'm not just stuck studying so much for one night. What time do you usually go to bed then? <laughs> I'm a night owl, but most people will be up until one or two. Is sports a big thing at Stanford? Yeah, I think Stanford holds the record for the most national championships. I went to the Hall of Champions today. It was, it was pretty incredible. Do you think the courses are like pretty challenging or are they easy? Hmm. To be honest, it depends on uh, which courses, but the ones I've taken so far, have been okay. Okay, that's good. The teachers are very helpful. They want you to succeed. They want you to do well in their classes. So always reach out for help. What do you guys like to do on campus when you're not studying? So at Stanford, we have an organization called Cardinal Knights, and they host a bunch of events on the weekends, uh, especially like Fridays for student life. We have things like free tickets to basketball games, baseball games. Otherwise, there's always a lot of parties happening on the row. The row is where all the frat houses, sorority houses are. Do you think Stanford life is more focused on studying them? Oh definitely, yeah. You'll see people like doing work everywhere you go. And then what about the weekends? What do you guys like to do on the weekends? <laughs> on the weekends for me, in my personal experience, I went home a lot because I lived really close. But otherwise there's not much to do right outside of campus. Um, there's downtown Palo Alto, but places to eat aren't very wide ranging and they're very expensive as well. So most people stay on campus and hang out with their friends, go fountain hopping, catch up on work. Fountain hopping like we did just now. Yes. It's gonna be cold. Oh, oh man, my pants got all wet. Next. All right, here we go again. Oh my God, this one's so much deeper than the other one. Did you guys all go in? How many did you go to? Four. Nice. What's your favorite thing about studying at Stanford? I think it's um, the different ways you are challenged to navigate a new professional academic setting. I know for me, with um, my identity as like a queer woman of color, that it's um, been definitely challenging, but I've learned a lot through other people and I've learned a lot about myself in the process. 
Wow. So lastly, what is the one piece of advice you have for incoming freshmen? My advice would be uh, to not get stuck in the bubble of Stanford and really think of your impact. Think of what you want to leave for this community, but also communities that aren't within Stanford, um, such as Palo Alto. Think about your impact. Mm, that's good advice. Thank you. If after watching this video, you're like, oh, damn, I want to learn computer science now, or I want to go to Stanford, then you got to check out today's sponsor, Brilliant.org. They're linked in the description. So I thought learning computer science was hard until I started using Brilliant. Brilliant.org is a problem solving website that teaches you math, science, and computer science. On Brilliant, you're not just memorizing things. Instead, you actively learn the concepts by applying them to problems. So it's very simple to learn and it's very fun, especially their beginner computer science class. So you invest in yourself. Go to broyan.org slash Hafu to sign up for free. Plus, they're gonna give you the Hafu University Scholarship. The first 200 people to sign up using the link in the description will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. So what are you waiting for? Go check it out. Here are my parting words. Steve Jobs said it best at the Stanford commencement. Stay hungry, stay foolish. And stay tuned for more videos coming cause UCLA is coming next. Hit that subscribe button. My name is Hafu Guo, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.